So you got it all connected up and you have a DHCP IP address. You're pretty much good to go. But let's say there's, just, there's some other configuration you want to do. We do have an easy to use web config page that you can just enter your IP address here so we can see how to configure the insight if necessary. The first thing you're going to do is enter root savvius into the login screen and it's going to want you to change your password. So confirm the password with savvius and then enter whatever your permanent password will be and submit. Now this is our config web page. You can see this is where you change from DHCP to static. You can change the time settings, add an NTP server, you know, change what your time zone is. And then we have our reporting options. It does have long-term reporting built in. It is enabled by default. You can also send all the data to a remote Elastic uh, server just by entering the IP address of that. You can also change the maximum space that's used in order to increase the amount of time that your reporting will be stored on the device. Of course, you have to balance this with the amount of CTD that you want to do. And of course, you can enter a separate password for the dashboards and you would apply that. This is all optional if you want to make these changes. The device comes completely configured and you can just take your IP address and enter it directly into your web browser to get to our long-term reporting dashboards. Here we're showing you a few of those. We've got many different dashboards for all the different analytics that you can see in Insight. Here we have the Flows dashboard. We've got the Network dashboard. You can see there are many different statistics for each, usually including some metrics at the top and some statistics in a list. And then let's just go on over to OmniP, which is the traditional way to interact with our Omni appliances. And we would just connect to the device using the IP address that we were given, the same IP address we used to connect to the web, connect, web config page. And here we are for those of you who are familiar with OmniPeak and interacting with Omni appliances. The functionality is exactly the same. You can see we've already got a number of captures configured by default that are used for reporting, but we could go and create a new capture at any time. I'll do that on the bridge port and we'll just check our options here make sure that all of our analysis options are enabled and we want the bridge adapter we'll hit OK uh, it'll ask us to optimize don't do that just say continue and there you can see we've got another capture we'll go ahead and start that capture and as you will see we'll start collecting packets there they are so we're going to open that capture so here we are at uh, OmniPeak, the timeline view, the network view, the applications view. Uh, there's a lot going on in there. You can see the packets themselves and this is all the statistics and the packets that you're seeing from the directly from the Insight device. And of course you could have many of these on your networks, your remote, remote office locations, seeing exactly what's going on in those offices. So a few more the flows view showing you all the flows all the voice over ip calls if you have any and you've got the insight plus there's our peer map there's our applications dashboard and countries of course a very high level overview but giving you just a you know a little glimpse at our what our visualizations are uh, now of course you can capture packets along the way we just checking here to see that we have ctd on and if so well at any point in time you can go and do a forensic search on a, a period of time in the past and then do the analysis and get the packets for that period of time. Just going through, making sure that all the settings we want, let's just enable them all. Actually going through the packets that were saved on the disk using the capture to disk functionality and the forensic search is done, we get our analysis, and then we can do that troubleshooting. So there's Savius Insight in a nutshell. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I hope this helps you to get going quicker when you receive your Savius Insight device.